Hey there, this is my Sable Worrell. I am super excited to do a cash stuffing with you this evening. Um, tonight I am actually going to cash stuff $116 um, and a couple of different binders. I will not um, buy, um, cash stuff every binder, but the ones that I do, I will pull it out and show it to you and show you what I'm doing with it um, and kind of update the budget sheet if it has one or the tracker. Um, and so I want it to be able to share this process along with you so that you could kind of see how I complete everything. So before we get started with cash stuffing, I just wanna do a quick cash count. Um, I did count it ahead of time, but I just wanna make sure um, that way in case I made a mistake, I can catch it now before we start stuffing, right? All right, so here we go. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so we are good. All right, so let me put that right back in my little tray. Hopefully everyone had a great week. Um, it, of course, is Friday here. And so I actually had a work trip this week and I got, I flew back in today actually. So I've been just super busy taking care of everything in the house, um, making sure that we had more groceries, that kind of stuff. Um, so I had an opportunity earlier to get some extra singles. Um, and so that's why I decided to cash stuff today, um, just because I had what I needed. So I've already done the prep work ahead of time. I know what I want to stuff. So we are actually going to start off with one of my Christmas binders. Um, and so my Christmas binders, as you know, are labeled, um, in each little pouch, uh, each envelope as to where it's going. So I'm actually going to start off with uh, one of the gift giving envelopes. And so this one is going to one of my daughters. Um, this is Carrington. And Carrington, this go round, is going to get $5. So on my little budget sheet here, you'll see I start off with 5 and of course the balance is five because um, this is the first time I have made a deposit into um, her particular folder. So you'll see I put down uh, January 26, the deposit $5, $5. And so of course here is that $5. So I'm just gonna simply put that back into the envelope and then move on to the next one. And of course, if you haven't seen my video on how I created these, um, I do have a video um, here on YouTube that shows you how I made these. Um, so that's the first one. So then the next one is my one of my other daughters. This time it's Yasmin. And again, hers, this is the first time I am making that deposit on hers. Um, and as I've mentioned before, you know, I don't stuff every single binder, every single envelope each time I stuff. Um, so I just kind of rotate onto what needs to go where. So Yasmin is getting $5 as well. All right. All right. The next one on the list is my sister, Jody. She is also getting $5. Okay, and fair warning, just in advance, uh, a child may or may not walk in and crash our party as I am recording this, hopefully not. I try, always try to warn them that I'm recording, but if they do, just be prepared. <laughs> they may stop by. All right, and then last of the Christmas binders is Dimitri, my nephew. He is also going to get five this go round. All right, and those of you that are fairly new to cash stuffing, you know, the categories you choose to have and what you choose to stuff is totally up to you. Um, I typically take whatever my goal is, uh -oh. my goal is, and I decide ahead of time roughly about how much I can put in per pay period or per month, and then I divide that up. Um, that's typically how I do it. Now, not always, like I said, some of them, I do cash stuff a little more than others. It just depends on what's going on. All right, so that is everything for the Christmas binder. So we can put that one away. All right, the next one up is my Disney binder. And um, again, I have a video on how I created these as well. These are made a little different. They're still the uh, clear type envelopes that do not have a zipper, but these um, just don't have that paper 
inside that has the like scrapbooking paper that has the title and said I used vinyl. So in the Disney, um, I'm only putting in one envelope and that is Disney lunch. And so we have breakfast, there's lunch. So you'll see I have lunch there. And for Disney lunch, I'm putting in $4 today. We're starting that one off. And we are going to Disneyland Tokyo. The goal is uh, Christmas of 2025. Um, so we've got a while to, to save for these, of course. Okay, and for lunch, I'm on the tracker. Each heart is worth $4, and that means when I fill this up, we'll have $150 towards lunch, and we're only there for two days. Um, and I will say, in Japan, the food is a lot more reasonable at um, most of your amusement parks than it is um, some of our American parks. So um, it's a fair amount to have to only need $150. Okay, so there's $4 for that one. So we're going to place this back in the lunch envelope. And again, I have not forgot for those that asked about creating um, a video of how I made the binders, I am still going to do that. All right, my next one is my month ahead binder. Um, and I actually have uh, two month ahead binders. And for um, one of them is like sort of like the short term and the other one is the long term. Um, and I thought I had that binder in my hand, my apologies. Did I put it back? Uh, nope, that's birthday. Oh, here it is. Okay, sorry. All right, some of my binders are the same color, so um, I picked up the wrong one. All right, so my one month ahead, of course, this one is sort of a combo. I have the clear sheets that I created myself, and then I also have the zipper folders. So my clear sheets is my title page, and also um, my sort of looking ahead of time how much it takes for me to survive pretty much on one month of all the necessities. Um, and so you'll see I listed that here. And so um, I am going to start off with my month ahead for the internet. And with the internet, I am putting in $8. And this is the first time that we have stuff the internet. Um, so the internet. I am coloring in the little computer screens that I made. So eight, so five, one, two, three. All right, so we have $8 in the month ahead internet. And for those of you that don't have month ahead um, in your budgeting system or you're not familiar with it, all that means is that you save up enough that if something was to happen, if let's say you got sick at work and you had to miss days or you ran out of leave and you still wanted to make sure you had enough to cover your expenses for the, the next month, even if you didn't get paid, um, that's how typically most people use it. Um, and if by chance, you know, you are working off of a more formal system, something like, you know, inspired maybe by Dave Ramsey or someone like that, um, you know, a lot of times you'll save for an emergency up front before you start paying off debt, you'll pay off the debt. And then of course, further down the line, you'll start having a month ahead or a three months ahead, a six months ahead in case there's a problem. Um, and so for me, I started with the, the month ahead in terms of that one, three or six. And eventually I will get to the six month. Um, but for now we're doing the one month ahead. Um, and the great thing about this is after you get this amount that you need, um, as long as you don't need to use it, I can transfer all of the cash into a high yield savings account, which is typically what I do with the larger amounts of money anyhow. That way it's not sitting at my house, number one. And number two, it's it's earning me interest. It's working. It has a job. Um, and so um, that's one of the great things about it. Some people use their month ahead slightly different. And what they do is they go ahead and they put it in the bank and then they pay their bills out of that um, that the amount of funds that are in there so that they're able to go ahead and pay those bills without having to wait till the next paycheck to do it. Um, fortunately for me, um, I did not need to do that at this time. So instead it's here until it goes into the high yield savings. Um, but if I need it later on down the line, I could. All right. So then the next one is month ahead car. Um, and just a really quick, um, I didn't show that. So let me go back again real fast. Um, so my month ahead, for those of you that are curious, um, I have my gas, my groceries, and groceries actually, I put 500, but we actually spend about a thousand on groceries, but I figured, you know, if something really serious is going on and we just need to eat, we don't have to be fancy, we could do it off of 500. My mortgage, my water, the electricity, uh, the alarm system, my car insurance, the internet, um, my subscriptions, 
the warranty on my house, my cell phone, and then we have a timeshare that we pay on um, that is going to be paid off in the near future. But in the meantime, we still owe. Um, and I know some of these may seem a little low, and that's just because um, we have two locations that we live part of the year in one and part of the year in the other. Um, and so when I did the numbers, I, you know, I was very methodical about it. Um, we have internet at two different houses, which is why the internet is so high. Um, and at one house, the house that most of these bills are covering is a house that we're not necessarily at the entire year. Um, so the numbers are a little bit lower. So I went with, like I said, the bare minimum, but in the event that so there was a true emergency, hopefully I will have saved a little bit more than this. Um, and that's why they're set like this. Okay. So the next one, um, I was going towards car maintenance. I'm sorry, car car insurance. Car insurance is what this is. So with car insurance, we're actually going to do the one that says $3. Um, and like this is a tracker that I made myself. Um, and the great thing about the trackers is you can make them, you can buy them. There are some amazing artists on Etsy that make different things. Um, a lot of mine I make my own. Um, and if it's one I think I'll use again, um, cause I will use this as I'm saving for the three month and the six month as well. I usually laminate them and that's what this is. It's a laminated piece of cardstock. Um, so this one we are doing three. There we go. Okay. And that's three. Let's let that dry just a little bit. Okay. All right. And again, the categories that you choose are completely customizable to what you need. Um, and for me, these are the ones that were most important. All right. My next month ahead is my home warranty. Um, and those of you that are, are maybe looking to purchase a home or um, you have a home and didn't realize this was a thing. Um, if every home I've ever purchased, whether it was my house or my husband and myself's home, I have always had a home warranty. And I cannot tell you how many times we have used it for things like AC, like the air conditioning has gone out in the middle of the summer. Oh my goodness, it has saved us so much money. Now, this roughly is $95 a month. I can tell you when I first got it, it was not that much. It was like $35.40. And sometimes they have promos, so you get a little bit of a discount. The $95 actually is with a discount because over in time, inflation has increased it. So now... I pay $95 a month, but it covers practically, I won't say everything in the house because that wouldn't be true. Um, and everybody has different policies. It depends on what you purchased. Ours is the basic policy, but it covers the AC. It covers the fridge, you know, like that kind of stuff. So it really just depends on what you're choosing to do with it. The company we go with um, is 210 Home Warranty, um, which is why that says that at the top. Um, and it just works really well for us. So for the warranty, I am doing the $2 one or one of the $2 ones. Okay. And like I said, I have had the warranty for years. That is not something you want to let lapse. Uh, like I said, and they have different packages, different pricing, uh, different things they offer. All right. The next item, um, the last item in month ahead is ADT. Oops. And that is the, the alarm system. And that one, um, I'm doing the, one of the dollars. There we go. All right. We're just going to pop this back in the envelope. And you'll notice, again, these in this particular binder are the ones with the zippers, okay? All right, so that's everything that I'm taking care of in the month of head binder. So next we are going to go to the birthday binder, or one of the birthday binders. Um, we will start with this one. All right, so this is like immediate family. So in immediate family, I am only doing uh, one, and that is my daughter, Ireland. Her birthday, um, it's not the next birthday coming up, but it is definitely one of the birthdays coming up. All right, and for hers, I am doing 10, and it's actually gonna be a $10 bill. And again, this particular binder, I made the tracker. You see, I put a, like a little mermaid on it, and the actual envelopes themselves. Of course, you know, I bought the envelopes themselves off of Amazon. Those are the ones I choose to buy, and I'll link that below in case you're interested in taking a look. And then I just put vinyl. I put their names on the outside, um, and that was super simple to do with Cricut. Now I do have a budget sheet. Um, sorry, I do have a budget sheet in here. Um, I didn't fill it out only because. 
um, one sake of time and two for her birthday, we've got a little ways to go for her birthday. So I'm like, I said, I'm just now starting to add money and I won't take anything out till right before her birthday when it's time to go shopping. So I won't bother to add it in, um, just yet. Probably the next time I, um, add money, then I'll add that in there. All right. So then the next birthday binder is family that is not quite immediate. So just people that don't necessarily live here. And in this one, it is granddaddy, my father. He is actually going to get $2. And he already has some in there. But like I said, I have not um, gone shopping just yet. His birthday's in March. So we have a little bit of time. Okay. And he is getting, again, $2. And again, in this binder, it has the same setup as the other pink one you just saw with the zippers and the envelopes with their names in final. All right, so that's everything for birthday. Oops, sorry. So my next one is my Yellowstone Year of Savings. Um, and I call it that just because the pictures I chose to use to decorate it were all characters and scenes from Yellowstone uh, or photos that I found online. Um, super cute, just a great way to help keep me motivated. So I am working on January. And even though January is almost over, um, I actually get paid coming up. And so because of that, um, I actually will add more to this and finish it out when I get paid next week. Alrighty. So in here already, I already had 10 and I, I think I may have put that in there like earlier in the week. So we're just going to make up a date and put the 22nd. That part is not super important just be, for me right now, only because it was me starting out and I'm not deducting anything. Right? So then today of course is the 26th. And I'm actually just depositing a dollar, and that is the end of my one. So that brings it now to $11, and that is my last one. I will add that in there along with the 10. And I will finish out, like I said, this particular um, little envelope later in the week when I get paid again. So we'll color in the one. And the, for those of interesting, this is a Sharpie, um, just the, the uh, fine point, um, but it is a Sharpie. All right, so that, of course, is January. We'll finish this out, and then we'll start on February as well. Um, all right, so that is everything for the Yellowstone binder. Just a couple more. So then the next one I have is my, like, everyday type binder. Now I have these broken down in a couple of different ways, right? I have, these are my everyday essentials. I have one that is all like, I guess you could say house, pets, like everyday life, but non food, if that makes sense. And then I have one that is specifically for food. So we're actually going to start with the food one first. And that's actually this one. And this one, um, is getting money for date night. So that's this one and we are putting in 10, but I'm actually doing it in fives. Okay. So we are going to add the little, the little tracker here. We're going to add in 10. So today is again, the 26th. Add 10. So now date night has 30. Okay, and we are going to color in one of the stars. And on this one, this is again, one of the ones that I made. And this one is in my Etsy shop. Um, and so each star is worth $10. And the goal is once we fill it, it gives us 150. All right, so we're gonna add that to the date night folder. And our date night envelope, I'm sorry. There we go. All right, and I just wanna do a quick check. Um, the next one is car maintenance. And then a couple of savings challenges. And I think, yep, those are all in the other folder. All right. And I didn't have any like long-term, long, like majorly long-term other than the month ahead tonight. All right. So no pet emergencies. Here's car maintenance. And again, this is also one that I created. And when I first started saving for this, the goal was going to be like $8 a paycheck, which is why you see I started with $8. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to fast track that. Um, because while the car doesn't currently need anything right now, I didn't want to take any chances, right? All right, so 25 plus 8, uh, that's 33, right? 33, now 2, 
Oh, I can't count right now. Hold on. And I don't have my calculator in here. I was using it for something else earlier. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Yeah, 33. I was right. All right. There we go. So 25. And that's actually going to be a 5 and a 20. All right. So that's 25. Yeah, I just decided just in case with the car, I, I wanted to fast track. So when I created the tracker, you'll see it's in increments of 25 instead of 8. All right, so that goes in that envelope. All right, the next one is New Year, New Me. All right, and that was just a savings challenge. And this one is going to get $5. And the goal is to not take anything out of this one. Um, even though I do have the little deposit slip, I am going to fill it out, but I don't plan to take anything out right now. I think what I'm going to do, honestly, is add this money when I've filled it, the whole hundred dollars to my clothing fund. Cause I have a, a separate clothing fund for my clothes, but I think I'm going to add that to that. Um, just to be on the safe side. Okay. So this is now 13. So there's that. Um, and that one, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this New Year, New Me year after year. So I just printed one on cardstock but didn't laminate it. Um, I can always just print another one when I fill that one up. All right. Uh, the next one is a winter challenge. Um, not this winter challenge. It is, sorry, my kids, this winter challenge. They are in the hallway. I don't think they realize they're loud. Okay, so this one I purchased offline um, from Sisters on a Budget. I loved the colors and the graphics that she had. I thought they were super cute. Um, so this one, I'm actually going to save five. And that is my last five. That's going to go in there. And that one, um, you save a total of $90 on the Winter Vibes. All right. Um, and then my last one, which gets a 20, so my last 20, goes into my 25 weeks of savings. And I do want to talk about this one for just a quick second. So uh, this one I actually created myself um, and it's got 25 weeks of savings and then it's got, of course, all the numbers as you go. And when you're finished, you end up saving $650. Um, I did create this and made it a Canva file. Um, I do currently have it listed, I think on Pinterest and on my link tree from my Instagram for free with the link where you can just go and print it out. Um, I will also link that below in the video. Um, so if you're interested in one of these, um, a new you know 25 weeks, you certainly um, are welcome to print that out and use it for your own personal use. Um, and so it was just a cute way for me to do something different um, to save. So today we're doing $20 for that one. And like I said, it's completely free. Um, you can it just, it links to Canva and you can go in there um, and there's a way that we can share for you to pull it up um, and then be able to print it. All right. So that is all of that. So my tray of course is empty. My binders are a little bit more full. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. I, like I said, there will be another cash stuffing later in the week. I, like I said, I do get paid, um, later next week. And so I probably will do another one. Um, that one will have a little bit more money, um, than this one. You know, everyone is in a different place and there's nothing wrong with that. There are some times when I literally only cash stuff five singles. It just depends on what's going on. I have lots of envelopes that are just a dollar at a time. I have others that are two dollars or three, you know, that kind of thing. And then I have some where there isn't a set amount. It's just whatever I can put in at the time. Um, so again, I feel free to join me. Um, hopefully you'll follow me on this journey and help motivate me and help motivate you if you also have a cash stuffing and a budgeting journey as well. Um, so feel free to like and subscribe and share out my channel and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks so much and have an amazing weekend. Bye-bye.